Bonnie. Um, Vincent Tan, blue to red, disgust. Oh. I don't want to bring you down. Do you know, it's, it's quite interesting. I don't actually I, you know, blame him in the sense that he's a billionaire, right? Very successful businessman. People used to say yes to him. Until we make it law in this country, or the authorities make it law, this is my opinion, it'll never change. So you, you could, you know, you can't knock down Shakespeare's cottage in Stratford and build a block of facts, quite rightly. It's a great listed building. You can't go into football clubs and change colours and badges because it's part of our history, social history. I'll give you an example, not County, right? Everybody knows the oldest professional club yes. in the world. Yes. Everybody knows the story of the kit, black and yeah. white stripes. Juventus. Juventus, basically kit, flew them out there, and the anniversary. You could buy that club tomorrow and change their colours. Is that right? No. Of course it's not. Is it a football fan that agrees that's right? No. No. Until we make it law in this country, you can't go into a club and change their fundamental colours and badge. This, this will keep happening, and it shouldn't happen because it's our history. <laughs> Whole, whole time. Absolutely the same with Hull Tigers. Yeah. Those yeah. things. Football in Britain is part of our cultural heritage. We all know important. And every fan has a different relationship, all spiritual with their club. And it's important. It you know. so. People have died in Cardiff City. And we buried in their tops. The graves have the blue bit on it. Can't be right to change that badge. Can't be right to change the colours. Sorry. Vicky, no. he's nicking all your Notts County.